you ever wondered how to properly dry your dog? Well, I'm going to show you that in this very video. Hi guys, it's Chloe here. On this channel, I talk about anything dogs, dog care and dog training. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. And remember to check out all the links below that list anything that I've used in this video or anything that I've mentioned in this video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to dry your dogs. I'm going to be using two products, a towel and a hairdryer. I'll get into why later on. Let's get into the video. You also want to start uh, from the top of the body and work your way down when you're towel drying your dog. Just it makes a little, a little bit easier rather than working backwards. So something that I learned really recently when drying your dog is you want to make sure they are incredibly dry. Um, if you leave them um, possibly slightly damp, um, then the grease and dirt can start to stick to their fur which in turn makes your dog smell quite quickly and then also in turn it makes your house smell like dog um, which I learned recently um, so I always start off with the face make sure their face is slightly dry I always towel dry off my dogs first um, get most of the moisture off them here I'm using a microfiber doggy towel um, I'll leave the link down below to where you can find a, what's called a doggy bag which is the same product but you just put them in a bag and you uh, towel dry them that way um, they both work the same um, so now I'm going to start to um, dry I've dried Ted's body off as much as I can at the moment with the towel and then I'm going to take him out of the bath and start to do his paws now um, I really like to make sure most of his body is dry um, including his paws so the reason I'm using a blow dryer is because I don't think towels get your dogs f fully dry when you want them to be and also um, it, for Bedlingtons especially it makes them quite fluffy um, I use it on the cool setting um, but on a high speed so obviously it doesn't burn his skin you can use a human hair dryer you just ha have to make sure it's not on a hot setting here I'm brushing Ted as well like, you always have to brush Bedlingtons back which I'm not entirely sure why um, but I will be finding out in the next few months um, so I'm just brushing him at the moment just to get right under each little hair so that I can dry him fully um, this also in the winter especially by drying him like this it will get him warm quicker if I towel dry him he might get a bit cold because he won't be fully dry so when your uh, hair drying your dog you can start absolutely anywhere it depends where you see wet really um, I have just started and away I've gone the other nice thing about using a hair dryer is that it gets your dog dry really quickly um, a lot quicker than what a towel would um, so then you can let them relax for the rest of the day the other thing is is whilst you're hair drying your dog you can groom them as well so you can make sure that um, their hair is really nice and it's laying the way it should um, and you are giving them a good groom and developing a relationship with your dog at the same time Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a great insight into how to properly dry your dog. And I really hope that you do think about subscribing. And remember to check out the links below. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.